Hi there, I'm Miss Katie, that vegan teacher, and today I'm wearing my vegan granny shirt. Well, because I'm actually a grandmother as well. And once in a while, I just like to walk around with that shirt on because it generates conversations. And that is really the goal, to be out and about with something on your clothing, to remind people that vegans exist, and to remind people that vegan grandmothers exist. So today I want to talk to you about family. Is your family vegan yet? And if you yourself are vegan, how do you feel about them not being vegan? Tell the truth. Because a lot of times I've noticed that when I ask people about that, about the truth, about how they feel about their families, they kind of look a bit uncomfortable and they don't really want to talk about it. So I guess a couple of things are happening. Is one, they want to let their own families off the hook. It's like everybody else in the world is guilty. Everybody else is worthy of a protest in front of their house or at their place of business or whatever. But your own family, you're going to just sort of pretend that everything's fine because you don't want them to be mad at you, because you don't want them to turn their backs on you. You don't want to cut them off in case you need a kidney one day or whatever it is. Let's be honest. That's what's happening, really. But what about those of you who actually hate your families, don't respect them, detest them, are furious with them? Do you come out and say it to their faces? Do you say to them, I can't be friends with you, I can't sit with you, I can't look you in the eye because all I see is corpses inside of you? Are you brave enough to say that to your family members if it's what you truly feel? Why is it that so many people are forgiving towards their families? Why is it that they don't hold them to the same level of accountability as anyone else in society? I'd like to know in the comments how you feel. And also, if you are somebody who is not yet vegan and you knew that somebody in your family was killing cats and eating them, how would that make you feel? If you're not yet vegan and you knew that somebody in your family was killing dogs and eating them, how would that make you feel? Where do you draw the line? At what point do you wake up and see that the people in your family are psychopaths or narcissists, whatever you want to call it, just plain cruel? And when do you admit it to yourself that these are your blood relatives? These are the people you're stuck with at Christmas, at Easter, at Thanksgiving, or are you? Who here among the vegans has ever cut off their families completely? Now, Gary Yurofsky is somebody who talks about this. He's an animal rights activist, and he says that you should cut yourself off from your family pretty much at the age of 18 because the vast majority of families are fucked up and you need to get out there into the real world and see how others live. Detach yourself, cut the umbilical cord, fly out of the nest and never return. Now, I wouldn't go that far, but I do think that we place too much value on the nuclear family right now in the sense that the truth is that they will not be there to really care about you. So why is it that you should care about them? If they are daily, consistently breaking your heart by killing the animals, paying people to hurt them, when they know that this is your life's work, this is your absolute passion, and even if they don't care about the animals themselves, if they don't care about you enough to stop eating them, what does that say about your family? Your family is cruel. Your family doesn't love you. That is something that you must accept, that your family simply does not love you. They care more about their taste pleasure than about healing your heart. So if you are somebody who is treating your family members cruelly by being vegan phobic, I urge you to think about what it is that you're doing. And if you do love your family members, you will stop contributing to the Holocaust that is going on right now, the Holocaust that they are trying to prevent. You will stop defending animal abuse. You will realize that there is no excuse for animal abuse. 
And if you are a decent human being, you will hug your family members who are vegan and you will say, I am so proud of you for what you're doing. Because it's not easy to be vegan in a vegan phobic world. And so you must be vegan fantastic to start with by being kind to your family members who are vegan and you must immediately roll up your sleeves and get on track. Start to realize that every time you go shopping, you must put vegan food in that shopping cart. No more death, no more stolen eggs, no more stolen milk. You can totally do this. You can absolutely do it. So I'm gonna continue my walk here. I wanna thank you for being here. I wanna thank you for thinking about my message about being kind to animals and the family members who are protecting them. And I want you to think about what it means to love somebody. Love, they say, is always patient and kind. Love is patient and kind. How patient do you have to be with people who hurt animals over and over and over? Maybe there's a limit. What do you think? Let me know. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. Please press the notification bell. Help me get the animals out of hell. And I'll see you all in the next video. Coming up on screen, there are gonna be a bunch of others. Click on them. Be curious. There's over 2,100 to click on. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.